Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro, friends. Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by Coffee Fest. Coffee Fest is happening in November on the 15th and 16th in Tacoma, Washington, with a new full day leadership workshop added to the program on the 14th of November, which will be led by myself and Jen O'Hare. And uh, you can get tickets at coffeefest.com forward slash leadership. It's going to be outstanding. I hope to see you there. Today on the Daily Coffee Pro by Mapper Forward, we're going to be talking about what to do if your employer is expecting too much of you and how to assess that. So the last episode of the podcast, we spoke about employers and are their expectations realistic of their employees. Now we want to take a look at the opposite perspective of that and are employees showing up the way that they need to and how to assess whether you are having whether your employer is expecting far too much of you and now in fairness to this complex situation that we're experiencing in the industry which I like to call the chicken and the egg of the coffee industry globally particularly in places where baristas and roasters are still getting paid minimum wage we have this situation where employers don't seem to find it uh, fitting to pay more than minimum wage because employees are getting tipped out. And because of that, employees don't feel that it's reasonable to be expected to go above and beyond to get paid more because the ownership seems to be on our customers to subsidize our employees' wages. Now, look, I, I get that this is a sticky situation and I get that there are many employers who don't deserve for you to show up at your best. So here's some things that I would love to say to employees that are out there that think that they are being exploited or that they're not being treated well by their employers. There's a couple of important things to consider. How do you get yourself into an employment situation that makes sense to you? And that's really, really important. This is a way that you can start off on a great foot so that going in, you know what the expectations are. So if you're desperate for a job or you're not desperate for a job, Taking a position with a future employer who is asking you to basically work with no boundaries. So saying, I need someone that's going to show up and go above and beyond and be available at all times of the day and do everything that needs to be done without giving you any clear boundaries of what you're going to be expected to do. So giving you no job description and just saying you're a barista or you're a roaster, but not saying, for example, um, you're a barista. Let's put it this way. You're a roaster. And you're when you take that position, expecting that your job is to roast the coffee. But their definition of a roaster is someone who's going to roast the coffee, bag the coffee, order the green, do the forecasting, clean the warehouse and do all the deliveries as a base minimum of everything you have to get done every week. When you have no experience in buying green coffee or forecasting for the next 12 months worth of supply. That's rough that's really really rough and they're two different pay scales as far as I'm concerned between somebody who is a roaster and somebody who's a roaster and a green buyer for a business so as an employee your commitment to your professional success should include making sure that you choose the right employer and a really important part of that is screening and interviewing the interviewer as much as they're interviewing you. 
asking questions like what are the specific tasks that will be required of me and will you be putting that job description in writing now if an employer sees that as you being too hard they've given you some important information and you shouldn't take that job we need more employees that know how to show up to interviews and ask the right questions so that less than desirable employers start to see a requirement for them to start getting more professional and by doing this when more and more employees start showing up or potential employees start showing up for interview asking questions like that it's going to start sending a message to business owners that they need to start showing up with job descriptions and SOPs, standard operating procedures. It also means that our workforce is getting better versed in knowing how to have boundaries. And that's a really great thing. It's a really important thing. I want employees that can show up that are prepared to understand where the boundaries are because when I know they understand where the boundaries are I know they understand that I expect them to show up up to that boundary and I know that they're going to be committed to doing that now let's say you're in a position where you are already in a job and you think that your employer may potentially be having expectations of you that are completely unreasonable. Now that's not a wasted situation as far as I'm concerned. This is not something where you're like, well, fuck this, I'm getting out of here. I'm not going to, um, I, I just need to find a better job. I encourage you to look at this as an opportunity to grow yourself and give your employer an opportunity to step into um, a potentially really what's the best word for it a really um, team building and relationship professional relationship building moment in your position in that company and look I've seen this happen many times with bosses who are really reasonable so they'll have an employee that ha has been working with them for a couple of years and you know when they started the business they were um, the employer this was their first business and it was making do and um expecting people to do things that was unreasonable and because employees hadn't said anything they thought their employees were happy so if you are showing up and you ask your boss to to sit with you and talk about a situation that you're not happy with and you invite them to correct the right word for it you invite them to correct that potentially presents you and them with an opportunity to grow and to to build a better platform that you can both move on from and it adds to your story and history long term as an employee so the way that you do that is by saying, asking for some time, having it clearly written out where you think your boundaries should be and what you think an overstep is. And then going and when you've agreed to a mutually beneficial time, saying to your boss the things that you think are unfair and are beyond the expectations as well as that tell them why you think that so an example of why you think that it is unfair of them to expect you to let's say do the forecasting and do the green buying well you've been doing it but you don't feel that you're doing it well because you've never been given training in how to do it and so it's beyond 
reasonable expectations. You weren't told that you would be doing it at interview. You haven't had a pay bump since then and you've received no training in how to do it. So while you've accepted the responsibility, you perhaps could have been more communicative in that situation. So what I encourage you to do is accept your role in that and tell them that you'd like to talk about how you can proceed moving forward. Any reasonable boss will see that situation and they will encourage uh, moving forward a plan of action so that you can grow together. This is a reasonable way to approach building a better workplace culture for you and for your employer. So consider that plan of action. I'd like to hear your thoughts on what you think about that plan of action and if it worked for you. Leave your comments and questions and, and thoughts in the comment section below. Peace, love and peanut butter friends. Have an amazing rest of your day.